everyone and welcome. Actually, good morning. It's only 10.15, but it feels like the afternoon. Why? Because my day is done. So let's go over the QQQs. Hmm, looks higher to me. <laughs> no surprise here. Very strong. In fact, wow, I didn't even think we'd rally this much today, but it does appear we are. Let's just look at the level here. So the target today is a baby target, 108.70-ish. Where do I think we'll blow? 110. 110 is the area that I think we could blow over aggressively and carry through and make a new high. We will make a new high in the QQQs before the end of the calendar year. That is so far away. I have a million trading days between now and December 31st. So this has, this has, so, this is really, it's, it's actually interesting. Now that, hold on, I'm actually just realized something here as I'm talking to you right now. I think we're even going to make an all-time high before the end of the year now. And I really wasn't thinking that then because we've taken so long to make the move this year. Like, I knew we'd make a new high this year for the year, but now I'm seeing the timing of this. If we actually rally in October and do it and do what we need to do, if we over actually get over 114, 115, if we are actually able to do that in the next two weeks, which we actually could, the market can make an all-time high in the QQQs by the end of the calendar year this year, which I thought we'd do initially last year at the end of the year, and then the beginning of this year at the beginning of the year, and then we've taken so long this year to do everything, and we had the anomaly day, which happened August 24th, and I knew we'd make a new high, meaning go over the 114 area, but now, now that I'm seeing it, because remember the resistance, let's just go back to resistance, I, we, the resistance was this, because we, well, I found it, 114.39, I'll go back, because I had found it before, when we talked about it, we could, we could just blow right over that. There's nothing. Oh my goodness. So we could still really actually do that. Again, it has to do with the timing and it's challenging to actually pinpoint the exact time of things. Although everything that I said is going to happen is absolutely going to happen. It's just the timing of it. That's why I really love to just day trade. And that's why I love to trade stocks like just the stock. Because if you're doing options and things, which you can do using my system with gaps, you, you got to get the timing right. The beautiful thing, the most fabulous thing, the freewheeling thing about day trading is you, you, you don't have to be right with the timing in the long term. It's just the timing within minutes and seconds, which is so much easier to make money. A lot of people find it more difficult, but actually, if you think about it, it's not. It's actually easier. What we do is so much more easier than anything that exists if you know how to do it, just as many people don't, but I do, luckily. Anyways, here's the area. Look at this. So we are going to do it. This is crazy. I didn't even see this till now because I haven't looked at it in so long. 120.50. So if we continue and do everything we're supposed to do, we'll still make an all-time high in the QQQs before the end of the calendar year this year. And everybody in the world thought we were falling off a planet. And the reason is because once we get over that number, we've got nowhere to go but higher. 110 is the resistance of the next level. We're, we're almost there. We're a dollar something away. The Qs have been holding so strong. It will pull and lift the SPY, which had already made an all-time high. The Qs have been lagging, but not anymore. Now they're the leader here of whatever's happening. Why? It doesn't matter. But we've had a straight rally for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 days in a row, the market has done nothing but rally. What does that tell you? It tells you that we're not dropping. And I said it before, and I'll say it again. If we wanted to fall off a planet, we would have done it the day of the anomaly. The day the market gapped down and opened and stock swooshed and reversed and negated the swoosh, we, that was it. And if you didn't understand any of what that meant, which you wouldn't have unless you took my class, you wouldn't know that that was very significant. And that's how I'm able to call all this and this and this and the other thing too. But I just saw this now that we're actually going to still do it this year, which even... Even I wasn't sure if we'd make it over the number by the end of the calendar year, but it does appear we're going to. So I said earlier today, we're going to be very, very conscious of our exits in every short we do. And, and, and that's just the way it's going to be from now on. So if you'd like more information, email me at melissa at the This is your QQQ review. Have a great day, everyone.